This is the 17th video in Chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies, and it's about constructing gabled roofs. Let's start where we left off in the previous video. We have a little uh, building-ish thing and um, sort of a, a, an eave built, so this is kind of where the roof overhang would be. And what I want to do is I want to put a gable, basically a, a pointy thing, this part of the roof, that kind of goes all the way back from here all the way back to there and we'll worry about this in a little while we don't have to worry about that right now but what I want to do is I want to create that um, eave it at a particular angle not an eave I'm sorry the, the slope of the roof at a particular slope because really that's how roofs work you don't just kind of eyeball it um, roofs come in very particular slopes because of the way that they're built they're built by creating angles and when builders do that uh, they have to know what that angle should be and that angle depends entirely on where you are basically if you're in Aspen Colorado you want a really steep roof so that the snow doesn't pile up on the roof and collapse the building if you're in someplace like California you can get away with a, a more or less flat roof because you don't end up with a lot of snow uh, piling up on on top of the roof there are other reasons for having sloped roofs or flat roofs but they're not important right now okay let's talk about creating an angle here uh, to do this I need the protractor tool so I'm gonna go up to the tools and grab the protractor right there and you'll see that it looks kinda like a compass well actually it looks like a protractor um, and as I hover around it kinda changes color now what I want to do is I want to draw I want it to be um, perpendicular to the red axis which is why it's red you can see the red axis over here I want to make sure that it's red when I'm over on the corner here but it keeps kinda moving around so what I'm gonna do is get it into the color that I want it to be and then I'm gonna hold the shift key and when I hold shift down it locks it in that color basically it locks it in the direction until I let go of shift and then it kinda goes whichever way it wants again so again get it going in the color I want it to be hold down shift and then position where I want it to be so I'm gonna click there so now that's the center of rotation for the guide that I'm gonna create with this protractor I'm gonna say I'm gonna click here to say that's my zero and then I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna say that I'd like this roof to be at I don't know 30 degrees so I'm gonna type in 30 look down in the lower right corner of the screen right now and you'll see where it says angle 30 I'm gonna hit enter and now what I've done is I've created a guide that's at exactly 30 degrees to this to the to the flat part of this roof let's actually do that again because I think it's probably worth repeating let's do it from the other corner this time I'm gonna be hovering around with this protractor tool which I got from the tools menu I'm going to hit shift when it's in the direction that I want it to be in. I'm going to click to establish the center on the side. Click here and then click up anywhere I want and then type in the angle that I want that to be. So right now it's at 45 degrees. Mm, let's say I'd like it to be at 22 and a half degrees, which would be half that and hit enter. And now that guide, that angled line is at exactly 22 and a half degrees from this edge on the roof. Okay. Once I've got that this is cake so I'm gonna take the line tool right there I'm gonna find the midpoint on this edge right here you can see that that's light blue for midpoint I'm gonna click there and then draw watch out my see how this is changing color I wanna be absolutely sure that it's blue because I wanna be going straight up so I'm gonna watch for the blue to tell me that it's parallel to the blue axis I'm gonna come up in the blue click when I hit the guide that I drew and then I'm gonna click down along the guide right to the corner of the roof just like that let's repeat that edge on the other side click from there to there and then I'm gonna use the eraser to erase the center line and erase that guide just like that and then I'm just gonna use the push-pull tool to go ahead and push this all the way back and when I do that notice I end up with kind of an opening on the end well that's no big deal I can just use the line tool to retrace one of those edges and I end up with a nice easy opening uh, or I'm sorry closed uh, end of the roof just like that okay other problem is that when I pulled that thing I sort of pulled it inside out meaning that's why this face is purple and that face is purple and this is purple and that's white if I don't want those to be purple I'm just gonna click on them to select all of them like that holding the shift key and then I'm gonna right click and say reverse faces and when I reverse the faces like that now everything's kinda of one color and it's a whole lot neater at this point I can use the eraser to kind of erase this end if I want to or I could go in and put kind of a more complex gabled end on the end of this roof but I'm not gonna worry about that in this video because it takes a little while and it's boring to watch and it's gonna depend on the kinda of roof that you have anyway 
But that is the basic easy way to make a sloped gabled a roof on the, um, the building that you're working on. That's the end of the 17th video in Chapter 4 of SketchUp for Dummies.